It's a rainy day out today. Let's do something different. Okay, we can do that, but let me introduce you first. Yeah. So my daughter, this is Sydney. She's home from college. And as she said, it's a rainy day outside. So what, do you, what would you like to do differently? Nah, I'm just kidding. Let's look at some baseball cards. There you go. That's my girl. <laughs> All right, well, you have to wear your one glove. We're going to put on our one gloves. And I'm going to start off. I want to show you some cards that are as special as Sydney is. We're going to start off with a very rare card. Only 20 ever made. No one knows how many are left in existence. Oh, my gosh. And here you go. <laughs> Sydney's tennis card. Okay, let's look at some truly rare cards now. What year does that say? 1887. 1887. Bob Carruthers. That guy should be in the Hall of Fame. Why is that? You like his haircut? Yeah, very slick. <laughs> This guy should be in the Hall of Fame. Great pitcher. I'm going to show you, uh, what year is that? Uh, 1888. 1888. This is what they called scraps tobacco. However, there was no such thing as scraps tobacco. Did you know that? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is now believed that this was the first or second gum card ever produced. And this is Comiskey here. Then we have a W555 Eddie Plank card. These were little cutouts. Uh, these cards came in a box of chocolates and candies, and um, these little images were on the side, and you would cut them out. Did you ever hear of this guy? Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. You have? Really? <laughs> it's a 1948 blue tint Lou Gehrig. Now, I have to ask her because her boyfriend never heard of Mickey Mantle. What's up with that? I don't know. <laughs> but he had Pokemon cards. I'm not responsible for him. <laughs> <laughs> we have a, uh, a rare Stallmeyer. Roy Campanella. You ever hear of Roy Campanella? Mm -mm. He was in a car accident and he got paralyzed. And it ended his career early. There's a 1939 Melot, and this is the salesman sample. You can see that on the back there. These are these are more rare than the regular issue. What year is that? 1932. See, I don't have to wear my glasses when I have her. <laughs> 1932 U.S. Caramel, red roughing. This is a tough set. You don't see these cards all the time. We have a 1950 Drakes. These are issued in cookies. And these are rare cards. That's Gil Hodges. Now in 1955, Stan Musial didn't have a card. You know, he was off at war. But they had these Rawlings cards. And there were a series of, I believe, four of them. And they put these on the glove box. It was actually on, the, when you bought a baseball glove, these were on the box. And you would cut them out. 1960 Bell Brand Sandy Koufax. Have an old Philadelphia Caramel Jack Johnson. One of the early great boxers. We have a 1968 3D test issue. Bill Robinson. Look at the little hot dogs. <laughs> We have a Wilson Franks, Bob Feller. 1959, Jimmy Brown. You ever hear of him? Mm -hmm. Possibly the greatest running back ever. You ever hear of this guy? Yes. <laughs> What's his claim to fame? I don't know all those details I know of him. <laughs> he was the first black player in the major leagues. All right, Jackie again. Robinson, 1954. And we have a great autograph. Duke Schneider, 52. I actually thought this card was creased. And I was looking at it under the light one day. And it was a little scratch in the holder. So it's not creased. So I was excited to find that out. And I use this stuff called Slab Renew. And it takes the scratches out. So uh, I went to town on that. And it looks beautiful now. My favorite Barry Bonds rookie card. 
I had this raw. It's one of the few ones I sent in, and I was very happy to get a 10. I expected it because it was just perfect. But that's my favorite rookie card of his. And then we're going to finish off with a card that's... These are kind of rare. You know, everybody's familiar with the action-packed football cards of the early 90s, like 1990, I believe. But they actually toyed around with some other sports. They did one, I have uh, Sugar Ray Robinson, toyed around with boxing. And they did two in hockey, Mario Lemieux, which I do have, and this Wayne Gretzky. As a great card, these are not easy to find. So, how, how are you enjoying spending time in my card room? Yeah, it's always a fun time in here, just very overwhelming. <laughs> yep, and uh, we didn't get any mail yesterday. Sydney usually gets my mail and hides it from my wife, right? Oh, yeah. She's good like that, sneaks <laughs> it into my card room so I don't get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember I sent a video to you. I was just pulling package after package. That must have been like a two-minute long video of me pulling out packages. <laughs> I, I used to work out of town, and I'd be gone for one to two weeks at a time, and when I'd come home, there'd be a big stack of mail uh, she'd gather for me. <laughs> so what's your GPA going to be this to finish your college career? Well, it's not a 3.6 right now. I'm hoping to bump it up to a 3.7, but we'll see about that. <laughs> okay, she's in her senior year, about to graduate, and about to go to dental school. Yeah, So. figure that out. That's it for now. Hey, thanks for watching.